What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Just a very short and sweet video because we are going to be taking a look at the player of the week. I wasn't really going to do this. I've kind of, I've kind of given up on the player of the weeks, lads. Honestly, you've got Saka here with a booster. Van de Ven obviously is going to have rapid pace. Going to go to ninety overall uh, with the speed and the stamina is going to be over ninety with eighty plus acceleration. It's a fine card, but. I genuinely just feel at this stage, lads, that the player of the weeks are being overshadowed every week. It's just like they're getting worse and worse. Um, not even worse and worse, but they're just getting further away from endgame. Unless they do something different, or unless they give us a different way of earning these player of the weeks, I genuinely think the writing is on the wall, and the best solution to this is very simple. Just put these cards into the eFootball Point store every month. Just have a player of the month instead of player of the week. And then have player of the week that you can spin for coins, but you can also use nominating contracts or you can also use eFootball points. Because nobody's really using these player of the weeks unless it's a really good booster like Saka. Like Saka is a very good card. And obviously English fans and people that like Saka and that are looking uh, to play with him are going to be interested in this. He's a hard worker, plus three, track back, gamesmanship, long range curler and long range shooting. Of course, if you get him, but it's, it's all random. You can't decide to pick Saka. You could spin 10 times and not get Saka. And that can be very frustrating because it's a thousand coins, which is hard to come by if you're playing free to play. And it's a lot of money if you don't have a lot of money. So, so um, yeah, my recommendations for this is if you do spin them, like you've got Mbolo, Oliveira, Oliveira and Martinez and Marino and Danny Almo, I would say that are okay. They're not really that good. I mean, Danny Almo down here is a whole player. He's got super sub, soul control, double touch. You can't give him flip flaps, so that loses points there. You can't train position stats to him. You can't train positions to him, skills, anything. You can't do anything like that. So he's okay, but there's a lot of whole players in the game. You also have Guler, very, very good player. Doesn't have the booster, creative playmaker. He's got his new face now, which we covered in the last video. Double touch, soul control, but doesn't have flip flaps. Same issues apply. Can't train him as an SS. Can't train him as a DMF. Not the you want to. Down as a creative playmaker. Pretty decent, but not going to be changing the dial for you too much. And then, of course, you have Mbolo. Good speed, good acceleration, good physical contact, but poor balance, poor tight possession. Not going to be the ultimate fox in the box that you need, even though he's got area superiority and super sub. First time shot, one touch pass. Very nice. Oliveira, again, probably one of the weakest of the bunch. Center back with 85 plus speed, but doesn't have good aggression or defensive engagement, which is going to be a bit of an issue when you come up up the tiers into Division 1 and 2, if you're going for that. And then, of course, you have Martinez, just goalkeepers. That's, they're all the same. All the goalkeepers are the same. Um, you know, you don't really need to spend too much time on the goalkeepers. Then you've got Nuno Mendes and Diaz, Schuamene and Marino. Marino's pretty decent as a whole player. Another Spanish guy that's had a good campaign. Um, I do like this guy. I like the look of him. A lot of these guys have super sub. I just feel like if you could just pick a booster with these or something, I just feel that they need to do something. That's just my opinion. Let me know suggestions in the middle of this video and the comments below if you just think of something and we'll, we'll cover it on how you guys as a community or as fans or as players would improve the player of the weeks. And maybe we'll try and get the feedback back to them because I definitely think it's lacking. I feel there's no hype about the player of the weeks anymore. And it's kind of like, was I even going to do this video? Yes, but it's it's just the same thing over and over again, in my opinion. One touch pass, true passing, uh, first time shot, interception, aerial superiority, super sub and fighting spirit. Very nice whole player that plays like a box to box kind of but no real stats that are going to get you too excited. Same with Diaz. Yes, he's got pace. His balance is shocking for a prolific winger. And they've really done him dirty, I think, with the stats and the skills. He has soul control. He has got double touch. But again, no flip flaps. So he can't do ball roll or can't learn it. Shuamene, a nice anchorman. I know a lot of people rave and rant about Shuamene. Obviously, he's not going to get a look in if you've got Rijkaard or Davids or Makalele or Vieira um, or Rodri, Gilberto Silva, any of those boys. Blocker interception, area superiority, can play CB, DMF or CMF. Very nice if you're using sub tactics. Not a bad player at all, probably the pick of them. The pick of them are probably Saka, Van de Ven and Shuamene. Nuno Mendes, very solid attack and fullback. Really, really nice. I think Trippier and Ben White are probably better all round. But loads of speed, loads of stamina, loads of acceleration. Very good dribbling, very good defensive awareness and tackling. And his balance is quite decent as well. And then last but not least, we have Van de Ven and Saka. As I said, Saka is definitely the pick of them. Don't need to say too much about him. Goes to 100 overall. Very, very nice card. Very unique card. And I definitely like the fact that he can play all down the left and all down the right. You can have some fun with the sub tactics here. And wavering form on A rating. Phenomenal card. Has had a really good game against uh, Netherlands the other day as well. And then, of course, you've got Van de Ven, one of the fastest defensive players in the game. 90 plus speed with the manager boost, physically very strong, heading, lofted pass, and all his defensive stats solid. But that's it for the player of the week. Let me know your thoughts on how to improve the player of the week. 
I would say that my three favorite would be Saka van de Ven and Shuamini. You don't need to train them. They're ready. What this, what you see is what you get with them. And it's just straight in. Very good for newcomers, but not so much for people who've been playing the game for a while. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.